Hi, and welcome back to the second portion of our video where we will go over the process of provisioning your Gemini Ultimate Basement Protection System to your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, we're using a mock-up display of what the system looks like once installed into a basement. We have our pump assembly fully connected to the discharge. We have our Wi-Fi module remote display fully online as you can see by the, the, lit up, the light ups on the display. And our control box is fully plugged into our GFCI outlet. The first step to getting your system digitally connected is using your phone and going on the App Store or Google Play and searching Gemini Pump System in the search bar and looking for the app. Once you locate the app, download the app and wait for the shortcut to appear on your home screen. Once you have that, go ahead and click on the Gemini app. It will bring you to a screen that looks like this. On this screen, click the sign up button and go through the process of creating an account for your system. Once completed, go back to the home screen and sign in. You'll move on to a screen that says Setup. Go ahead and click Setup to move forward to the next screen. Let's configure our device. From here, you'll actually want to back out of the app and go to the settings on your phone for your Wi-Fi. In your Wi-Fi settings, you'll want to look for a network titled WW-GEM. Once you have this network located, connect to it. This is connecting your phone to the Wi-Fi module on the system so they can begin to speak. Once you have successfully connected to this network, you want to back out of your phone settings and go into the app again. Back into the app, click Start. If you have successfully connected to the Gemini, it will start to show a list of available Wi-Fi networks for you to connect the system to. From this list, Pick the Wi-Fi network that you want the system to be on and then enter in the password. From here, it will begin registering your device to the network. This process can take up to a minute before it is completed. So please be patient. Once completed, you will come to a screen that says Setup Complete. You will also notice if you look at your Wi-Fi module, there will be a third light lit up that says Connection Status. Once this light has been lit up, it means that you are connected to the network and can begin receiving alerts to your phone.
once you are connected, you will begin to see all of the statuses of your pump on the app. As you can see from here, it shows the status of your AC power, meaning that the system is connected to power. Your battery health is good. You have ample amount of hours of protection, and you can even go into the bottom of the screen and run a system test. So at this point, you'll actually want to go to this, this icon and run a system test. As you can see, you are digitally connected to your Gemini system and have ran your first remote test. Get familiar with your app. From here, you can go to the, the settings tab, change the name of your device, or go over to the notifications tab and decide how you want to receive alerts from the Gemini. The options would be text alerts, email, or simply going into the Gemini app and checking to see how your device is operating. You're now set. Thank you.